Roblox has announced so many huge and major updates, some that are good and some that could potentially destroy the platform. So if you're new, please subscribe and let's get right into it. Firstly, those are the pretty insane new update coming soon. So over the last few months, Roblox has added some features with AI. And so far, the AI features that they have are pretty okay for the most part. The extent of it right now is just that you can change textures and stuff. So it's good, but it's not really the best thing out there. But they just announced a new AI feature, which actually looks insane. So for game developers, what you can do in-game now to make avatars is that number one, you can just tell AI how to make your avatar and whatever. But they also showed that with mobile, you can upload pictures of yourself and other stuff. And the AI will try to replicate that as a realistic avatar. So in the example here, David Bazooki uploads a picture of himself and it spits out a realistic avatar of him. And then from that, you can customize it saying, make me look like an astronaut or add a helmet and whatever. And then from that, you can even change like the sizing and stuff of everything, which is pretty insane. Now to be fair, AI is a bit shaky and I feel like their example that they used, they kind of like help themselves. I don't think it actually is gonna work that good. I feel like when this update releases, it's gonna be a big hit or miss. Cause I feel like there's no way you can upload a picture of yourself and most of the time, it'll actually spit out a realistic avatar of you. Although besides that, all the customization features and stuff should work pretty well. And I know most people don't like realistic avatars, but these aren't actually avatars like you wear, I'm pretty sure. They're avatars for just in games and stuff. And typically, realistic avatars in games actually work pretty well depending on what the game is. And speaking of good features, while we're on the topic of good features, next we have something pretty insane. Over the last literally years now, Everyone has been wondering if roles will ever come to PlayStation. And this year especially, there's been so much up and downs. There's been one point where everyone thought that it's never gonna come to PlayStation. But then there were some points where there's been like leaks and stuff. And this has been like a big mystery in the roles community for so long now. But yesterday, out of nowhere, they just said that it's coming next month actually. During RDC, David Bazuki announced that roles will be coming to PlayStation and it's planning on coming next month actually. Which is pretty insane actually. Because like, I would have thought they maybe hyped it up a little bit or they make like a big announcement trailer but literally during RDC they were like alright our next point is PlayStation coming next month so it was a big shock and a big surprise but it's pretty insane nonetheless because like I said people have been waiting literally years for this to happen and it's finally happened and it's on PlayStation 4 and 5 so like every PlayStation console or current ones and also for Xbox players don't get concerned because it says that they're also going to stay on Xbox still which is pretty crazy to see and in general, after years of waiting, rolls will finally come on PlayStation next month. It's not even that far away. But in typical rolls fashion, the updates that we're going to look at next get pretty questionable. Let's start with their next update that actually went viral recently. So first, see, if you guys remember like a few months ago, in the Roblox code, it was leaked that you have the ability to call other players. And based on this leak, everyone was really confused and wondering like, how would this even work? And while during RDC this year, they actually showed off all like the UI interfaces and how it actually work. So as we can see here on Roblox, you're gonna get like a notification when your friend's calling you. And then how it works is kind of like a Apple FaceTime call. You'll have your Roblox avatar tracked with facial animations and you're in like a Roblox game. And then from that, you can change like the camera views. Uh, you can do like emotes and stuff and it's pretty insane. And it's basically just like a FaceTime call, like I said, but with your Roblox avatars. And I mean, like I said, this kind of went viral outside the roles community and so many like accounts that aren't even related to roblox at all have started reporting on this dexordo a popular like gaming news tweeted about this and did pretty like pretty big and then from dexordo popular people outside of the roblox scene have started talking about it mudahari here for example said that seems kind of risky with the player base which I mean, yeah, that's like, it is a bit weird. But keep in mind, I'm pretty sure David Bazooki said that the call feature is only for 17 and up users who verify their IDs. But then obviously with that, a lot of people were saying that a lot of people already bypassed like the ID verification thing by using like their parents' ID. But then again, like what more can they do? You know what I mean? And then from that, I saw people being like, if a kid uses their parents' ID and then gets into trouble with like some weird stuff on the platform, is that really Roblox's fault at that point? Nonetheless, so a pretty insane update. And in combination with this update, we got another look at another update that I talked about a while ago of that you're going to be able to nickname your friends and whatever. They showed off here that they want people to actually use like their real names on a platform and they want people to nickname other people with like their real names. And it's just a nickname feature. So whatever name you put some for someone else, it's just for you. So you remember who they are and stuff. No one else would see this. And it's kind of go hand in hand with the last update because like what they're basically trying to do is recreate your contact list, like your IRL contact list on Roblox, where you'd have like everyone's real name and stuff. So it actually is pretty insane and pretty crazy to see all this happening. 
They even said here that the nicknames could be imported from your phone's contacts, so I think they're going to be connected in some way, which is pretty crazy. And nonetheless, this whole call update and this whole like rename feature is pretty wild to see, and you're going to have like a full contact list on Roblox in the future. But next we have a very interesting and potentially bad update coming soon. So I'm pretty sure we've all seen a pay to win game on a platform, Pet Simulator X for example. And what if I told you that these games can now be paid to win with real life money and real life like subscriptions? Because Roblox just announced that they're going to release monthly subscriptions for experiences and items. So how it works is that developers can set up a monthly subscription system in their games and every month a person will pay actual money. It's not Robux. So they can make it like $5.99 a month for example. And every month you'll be charged $5.99 in return for some content in the game or some items. How the items work is that they can offer like a whole package and different clothes every month or they can make like a jacket system for example let's say a jacket UGC person launches a subscription, a subscription service what they can do is that someone pays like two dollars a month and every month they get a new jacket or whatever stuff like that but then for games this opens up so much opportunities because they can make it so dlcs are in the game and like special contests in the game or like i said what a lot of people are thinking is going to happen is that more games are going to become more pay to win and they're going to force players to or players who pay money are going to get more advantages in the game and stuff and i've seen so much people concerned with this update because a lot of people think that developers are going to make this like a main focus of their game and a lot of people are worried that more roles games are going to cost money and be expensive to get like cool stuff in it and also a lot of people are worried that more games are going to become pay to win and anyways moving to our last story which is insane and this story actually went viral, like mainstream viral. So many people, or like uh, genuinely the majority of people talking about this aren't even the Rolls community. Okay, let me break this down. So I already see every year, David Bazuki, the owner of Roblox, he does like a prediction thing where he gives his predictions for Roblox the next five years and then looks at old predictions. And one of his predictions for the next five years starting now is for 17 plus verified people in 17 plus experiences, thousands of adults will meet for the first time in Roblox dating experiences and subsequently form real life relationships. Yeah, that's pretty insane. And this is what David Buzuki wants to happen. Take it in. This is the owner of Roblox. He said this is his prediction. He wants this to happen. And if you guys remember, a little bit ago, they made it so that 17 and up experiences are allowed. And you are allowed to show dating and like alcohol and like stuff like that. And more mature content. And when this update got announced, obviously it got a lot of people scared. But a lot of people are also making jokes because everyone's like, oh, Rolls has become a dating simulator. And I mean, that's not a joke anymore. David Buzuki wants people to date on Roblox and actually like get real life relationships, which is pretty wild to see and i mean let's also address the elephant in the room of that this already happens on roblox 17 up games or not like online dating on roblox is a huge problem and there's a lot of weird stuff going on with that so the fact that the owner of roblox is like encouraging it in a sense for 17 up users is kind of crazy and the fact that he wants roblox to be like this is pretty crazy to see popular account pop base who is not related to roblox at all like and it's a popular music account they posted a tweet on this which has 2 million views and now more people who didn't even know about Roblox are finding out about this and now more people are getting like worried and like wondering like what the heck is going on with Roblox. Like if you read the comments right now, everyone's just freaking out and everyone's saying that this is a horrible idea for Roblox. And in general, this news story went so viral and so outside the Roblox community that everyone is like saying this is a horrible idea, it's pretty insane. Now to be fair, like I said in the past story, 17 and up people do have to verify their like stuff through ID and stuff. So the most people playing these games are going to be 17 and up. But then there's also the issue of people like faking ID and stuff. But then <laughs> that opens up the other door of that like if you purposely bypass 17 and up stuff and then something goes wrong, whose fault really is it? The fact that Roblox's CEO and owner himself said that this is like their vision for the future is pretty crazy to me. I wouldn't think this is something they would openly talk about and stuff, but I mean, they clearly want it to happen. Pretty wild and insane stuff going on in their community today. And if you enjoyed, however, check out this video for some major Pets to Motorx drama, and I'll see you in the next one.